ARCO 400 and the CM Control R unit for CMC test sets have been designed to easily test the recloser and sectionalizer controls being used in today's distribution networks. These two units are the ideal choice for conducting recloser control tests. Technicians and engineers might prefer to prepare a test plan procedure prior to the field test. The Recloser Control Test Plan Creation Software, RecoPlan, makes this easy. This PC-based application allows the user to generate a test plan and execute with Arco Control or the CM Control R. The first step of creating a new test plan is to select the type of test plan. Select Arco Test Plan if you want to create a test plan for an Arco test set and Arco Control. If you are using a CMC test set with CM Control R or the CM Control R app, select CMC Test Plan. This video tutorial will show you how to set up a test plan for an ARCO 400 to test an SEL control unit with an RVT2 32 pin test adapter. First, select the manufacturer and the adapter used to connect the recloser control to the test set. This selection will automatically assign many predefined values that are given by the controller to be tested. The software comes with a ribbon-based interface that uses large recognizable icons to show all available options. The configuration section on the left-hand side contains all the necessary information prior to the test. For instance, the test object identifies the device under test. The Nominal Values and Device Setting sections show the values that are associated with the adapter configuration defined. Only the nominal primary voltage, frequency, and the load current might be readjusted according to your application needs. Remember that the load current will be used as a three-phase pre-fault condition during the execution of the tests. You can use default overcurrent curves for your test plan, which can be managed from the Options dialog. This dialog contains a set of standardized characteristic curves that you can add to the default list. With the Import Curve option, you can add customized curves that are saved in XML format. Now add the curves that will be used in the current test plan from your list of default curves. These curves will be available to test the trip time characteristics of the controller's fast and slow curve. The parameters in the hardware configuration are set to default values according to the adapter and controller selection in the test object configuration. Only the voltage selection may vary depending on your specific configuration. For instance, you can deactivate the voltages for the source side and load side or specify different VT ratios and maximum voltages to match your configuration. Be careful with the amplifier selection and make sure you are not accidentally applying too high a voltage through a wrong amplifier output. The Report Information section contains general information about the recloser control and the tester that will be printed in the test report. The Model, Manufacturer and Application fields are filled out automatically according to the recloser control type selected. Now that the configuration is done, you are ready to create the test plan. The test plan name that you assign here, as well as the location in the report information, will be visible during the loading and execution of the test. Test tools are added to the plan by selecting any of the icons from the ribbon. The test tools can also be managed from the context menu. With the duplicate function, you can copy a defined test tool and change the conditions of the test, for example, the fault loop. You can also add, move, or rename the test tools at your convenience. 
Leaving indications at any of the stages during a test is something that is required frequently. With the instruction command, you can easily give instructions to the tester, for example, a basic operation check prior to the test. The analog output check tool can be used as a wiring check. The default value setting for voltages and currents is unsymmetrical, so you can check the magnitudes from the metering function of the recloser control. You can select a different output mode from the drop-down menu, like symmetric distribution or only one phase output. To toggle between units and to see the primary values, use the View tab with the corresponding options. The Pickup Test tool checks the thresholds of a specific protection function by ramping the current, voltage, or frequency. Let's say that you want to test the current pickup function. Define the fault type and set the voltage to typical fault conditions, for example, 70% of the nominal value. The field for the test current specifies the starting value for the ramp. You also have the option of using automatic ramp. Then, you can define the start and end points of the ramp, as well as the step size and duration. Also enter the pickup value and the current tolerances. If you want to assess the time from pickup to trip, check the Assess Time box and fill in the nominal time and the time tolerances. With the Tripping Sequence test tool, you can check the correct reclosing performance of recloser and sectionalizer controls. Let's imagine that you want to test the full sequence to lockout of the recloser control. The pre-fault and fault conditions are specified as a first step. Remember that the load current is taken from the nominal values in the test object. If the recloser control under test is able to perform both single phase and three phase tripping, you can select the right setting from the drop down menu. If single phase tripping is selected, you may also select whether the recloser locks out at single or three phase pole. In the configuration section, you can choose the number of times that the controller trips and recloses before entering the lockout state. The maximum dead and trip times have to be adjusted according to the parameterization of the recloser control. The test will be aborted if the respective signals are not measured within these two time values. Check the Verify Open Interval box if you want to assess the reclosing times. Just enter the nominal values and the tolerance. The Trip Time Characteristic tool tests the tripping characteristic of a recloser control. There are two test modes available. The first mode is used for testing a single curve and the second mode for testing up to two curves commonly used in a fuse saving scheme. For this tutorial, we will focus on the test of both the fast and slow curves in the full sequence to lockout mode. In the Curves section, you will need to select the fast and slow curves from the drop-down menus. The last shot on Fast Curve field indicates the number of shots that will be performed using the Fast Tripping Characteristic Curve. The remaining cycles before the lockout will be performed with the Slow Tripping Characteristic Curve. Fill out the Pickup field to complete the configuration of the curves. You can also specify a multiplier and an adder for the curve if they are being used. The Prefault section defines the prefault state prior to the first cycle of the test sequence. The load current will be applied during the prefault time. 
In a similar way to the other test tools, the fault section contains the fault type and the voltage output specification during this state. Just set the controls to realistic values, for example, 70% of the nominal voltage and a phase angle of 60 degrees. In the sequence section, you can define the test shots. Start with the maximum dead time, which has to be longer than the highest open interval time defined in the recloser control settings. This is the maximum time that the software will wait for a closed signal during each cycle. Use the tolerance fields to specify the permitted relative and absolute tolerances for the characteristic. Now select the total number of cycles and specify the fault current for each cycle. You can enter as many cycles as the recloser control is programmed to lock out. The trip time is automatically displayed according to the characteristic that has been selected. In addition to the test tools utilized in our test plan, the software includes the direct mode, the restoration tool, and the CB configuration. You can use the direct mode if you want to test a function which is not supported by the dedicated test tools. This tool allows all of the ARCO outputs to be controlled directly, so you can set the values for both the pre-fault and fault states and assess the results manually. The Restoration tool allows you to test logic-based voltage functions for distribution automation, which are programmed into the controller. The CB configuration can be used to test the state of the binary outputs to simulate a certain position of the recloser or, for example, simulate a different position of the yellow handle when applicable. Now that the test plan is completed, you can either save it to a file or directly execute it using Arco Control.